Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Mike from GrowersHouse.com. So today I got one of these Philips double-ended bulbs. Uh, double-ended HPS bulbs have been kind of the staple in the industry before LEDs took over. These are really efficient on power. They do require obviously a double-ended fixture and a little bit more know-how in installing. But once you have these bulbs in, you can get a lot of light for what used to be not that much power compared to LEDs. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look here. Remember always to wear gloves whenever you're handling these bulbs. You don't want any oils from your hands getting on these bulbs and creating any scorching spots. As you can see, this is a double-ended bulb that will require that type of fixture. But you can replace these bulbs. It's not too hard. So this bulb's color temperature is about 2000 Kelvin. So it is on that more red, far red side, um, which is gonna be ideal for flowering. That's what you want for flowering. It replicates that kind of autumn type of fall light. It also will help increase internodal spacing if you want plants to stretch a little bit more, that far red helps also. So these particular DE bulbs can make over 2000 U moles of light at 1000 watts. Um, you can actually boost these a little bit more. It does reduce the life, but you can get up to about 2,400 U-moles out of these bulbs, which is pretty amazing for a bulb that's pretty economical. Um, you can get these in bulk. Uh, if you click on the commercial link up at growershouse.com, you can get a bulk pricing for these as well. But uh, yeah, it's always good to check the par on these types of double-ended bulbs every six months or so, at least. Every quarter is good just so you know that you're getting the most out of the electricity that you're sending to that fixture. As your bulbs get older, you're gonna send the same amount of electricity, but you might get less actual light hitting your canopy. So in order to make sure you're getting the most light hitting your canopy, measure your light levels and replace your double-ended bulbs regularly. So these bulbs are rated to produce about 2,100 U-moles of light at 1,000 watts. You can boost them and they can produce up to 2,400 U-moles of light. But just know that if you do boost them or if you do run them at that little higher wattage, it does reduce the life of them slightly. So it's important that you test the output of your lights regularly to ensure that your fixture is actually outputting the amount of light that you expect it to in accordance to how much power you're using. Because that fixture is going to use the same amount of power, but if your bulb is worn down, it's not going to produce as much light and it's going to start to shift off of spectrum. You want to stay in that nice orange red spectrum that far red spectrum that these lights produce so that we can get that good flowering cycle all right guys thanks for watching this was mike with rosehouse.com keep on growing and we'll catch you on the next one